what is the mark of the beast? Y'all, if there's been a subject that's been extensively brought up over the last couple of years, this has been it. You have everyone and their brother saying that they know what it is or that it's already here or because the patent number of the jab is 060606 that it automatically makes it the mark. Trust me, I've seen all the research that you have. But at the end of the day, we should always use the word of God as our source and not trust the world. But this is by no means saying that we should ignore facts, data, and research when it's presented. Hear me on this. We as Christians should not be ignorant to what's happening around us. And watch this. Society, or should I say the demonic system around us, has labeled people who actually use critical thinking skills as conspiracy theorists. Y'all, this term is straight out of Satan's mouth. Every single person on this earth has the ability to think critically and research things for themselves. But there's a balance here. We as believers must completely rely on the Holy Spirit to reveal truth to us. But as he does, we can come to the conclusions that we do based on the facts that we know. As in, God is guiding our knowledge and wisdom and the world is not. So we can't get all caught up on what we read and see on social media, but at the same time, we must know the word and be able to discern what's happening around us. I think I've made this point clear. So as I continue teaching on the mark of the beast, I want you to remember this context as we dive into what the word of God says and what's happening right now in the world around us. Okay, so I'm going to be doing many videos on the mark of the beast, but in this first one, I want to dive into the word and see what God says about it. He, the Antichrist, causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, so that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. So we know that during the tribulation, the Antichrist will require everyone to take this mark, pledging their complete devotion to him and not to God. I've read and studied many different views on what the mark could be. Some say that it's a tattoo. Some say that it's an implant. Some say that it's some form of injection underneath the skin. And there's even some that say that the mark isn't a physical mark, but it's more of a representation of a mental state. Like the mark on the forehead actually represents the Antichrist belief system. After all the things that I've seen over the years, it is my personal belief based off the verses that I showed you that there's no reason to believe that this mark won't be something physical. Whether you can see it with the naked eye or not, I actually believe that it will be on the right hand or the forehead. We also have to remember that the devil is extremely deceiving, meaning that the mark will be marketed as something amazing and the pressure to take it will be tremendous. I have so much more to cover on this subject, so make sure you're following me for the next videos. I'll see y'all in part two.